it's Christy again, and today I was going to have for y'all a June TBR, but then I got to thinking about it, and I just got back from BookCon, and I had to mail back a whole lot of books from BookCon, and then we went to the, the BookTuber meetup at the Strand, and I bought lots of books there, and so I have lots of books coming, and honestly, I don't even remember all the books I got, so I don't know what I'm going to read this month, <laughs> so instead I decided to do kind of a th this week. TBR. These are the next three books, four books, three and a half books that I will be reading definitely. I don't think there's any book that I got or could have gotten that would throw me off the track of reading these three and a half books. I have a fourth one which may be the, or a fifth one. I have half of one and then three that I'm definitely going to read next and then a fourth one that it kind of depends on what books are in those boxes and when those boxes get here. So TBR! This one should be pretty obvious. First I'm going to finish City of Heavenly Fire. Hopefully really soon before someone spoils me. No spoilers. I'm excited. And then I'm going to hopefully be able to get through Unspoken before June 8th, which is when they're doing the live show hosted by Ashley from Said the Story. I'll leave the link to her channel down below. And I'm hoping to finish this so I can enjoy the live show with everybody. There is a glare on the book. It's a really pretty cover. It really is. Anyways, I'm really, really looking forward to this book. I've been wanting to read it for a very, very long time. And I've just been putting it off, putting it off, and luckily Ashley read it and loved it and has now inspired tons of us to read it and hopefully tons of you will read it and just read it. I'm looking forward to it. It will definitely be the next book I read. And then next, I will be reading Inland by Kat Rosenfield. And I am so looking forward to this book. I, bleh. It doesn't come out till June 12th. I don't know what happened at Barnes & Nobles but they sent it to me early, and I am ecstatic. I'm not gonna lie, I've been wanting this book for a while. I really, really wanted it. I did the Goodreads giveaway, I tried to win it there, I didn't get it. And then I kept on seeing all these booktubers getting advanced copies of it, and I was so jealous, so, so jealous. I wanted it so bad, I pre-ordered it, and then it came early. I'm excited. So I wanna read this before June 12th, so I can give y'all a review on it, and y'all can know how awesome it is. I'm hoping it's awesome, because I'm really excited for it. I don't know, the, the description is just so vague, it's just vague enough to be like, must know. So that will come right after Unspoken, yeah. And then the next book I'm probably going to read, and yeah, I am like torn, because usually I read one book and then read the sequel, but I really want to read Inland. So after Inland, I will be reading Untold by Sarah Reese Brennan. Sarah Reese Brennan. Sarah Reese Brennan. And that is the sequel to Unspoken. It's the second book in the series. The third book in the series is coming out soon. I'm pretty sure this year. Anyways, and I'm really looking forward to this because it's the sequel to the book that I've really been looking forward to. So I think that kind of goes together. It, it, it fits. And those are the three and a half books that I am pretty darn sure there is nothing that can get in the way of me reading those three and a half books next. If anything, Untold will be pushed back. But I don't see that happening either. Really don't. Yeah, those, there's the next three and a half. And I'm pretty sure after that I'll read We Were Liars. I don't have it yet, but I think that's probably what I'm going to read next. But I don't know. Don't I don't remember what's all in those boxes. I don't, and I ordered some other books, and I'm not probably sure in the water, but that's besides the point. And so I don't know for sure. But but another book, but a book I did just recently get in the mail that sounds really really good. And I know in my last video I talked all about how I don't really usually do contemporary, and it's a contemporary. But that is Sweet Filthy Boy. <laughs> it's new adult. Don't don't touch a book by its cover, and don't touch a book by its title necessarily. It sounds really, really good. It, 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 basically a goody good girl has a one night stand that turns into a lot longer than a one night stand. It was a one night thing in Vegas and then they end up going on a trip to France? France? Europe. Somewhere in Europe. And I just, I, I don't know. I, something about it called to me. 
it called to me. I'm pretty sure it's new adult, so beware, young youngins. I'm pretty sure it's young adult. But I'm excited about it, and so it may come. It will come soon. I don't know. <laughs> There's three and a half. Those are for sure. That I know. We'll see. But until next time.